Let's talk about how to add a new work order type with the web portal. You'll start by logging into GetSkimmer.com and then clicking on settings and then work order types. You'll see our existing list of work order types and now we want a new one. So we are going to click the add button. And we'll start out by entering just the basic information first. This is going to be a follow up call for a repair that we've already done. So we're going to add that to the description. We'll choose a color code. And since the scheduling of this will just be incidental, we don't have to have it recur. So we'll say never for recurring. We'll just schedule it when we need to. Because it's a quick checkup for a repair that we've already charged for, we're not going to invoice it. So we're going to uncheck that option. But we do want the other three. We want the office to be alerted when it's created. We want the email to go to the customer. And we want text to be able to create this. So we'll check all three of those. Now we can add a description of the default work that's needed. We'll add a default labor cost. And since we're not charging the customer for this little checkup, we won't add in a default price. We will, though, change the estimated default minutes because it's just going to be a quick checkup. At the bottom, you can set up the email message. We're not going to type in everything here, but you'll see that you can choose an email subject. And you can also add in a default email header, which they'll see in the body of the email, and a message that you would like them to see for this type of work order. We'll go ahead and click Save now. And we see the work order type has been successfully saved. And now that it's created, a new option has opened up on the right. We can add checklist items just like you would on a regular route stop. So let's add one. The description is what your text will see when they swipe it on the list. And the description when complete is what your customers will see on the email. We'll save that. And now we have a checklist item that can be swiped to show that it's completed on the work order. We'll save that. And now we're back on our list and you can see repair follow up call has been added. Now I would like this to be directly under repair. So I'm going to click here and grab and hold and then drag it and drop. And then we've been able to rearrange it. You'll also see over here on the right, if there's something that you don't want anymore, you can easily delete it. Or if you would like to make some changes, you can go to the edit screen just like we were on before. And once you completed all the changes that you would like to make, make sure that your texts in the field sync their device so that they can see these changes too. And then you're good to go.